The murder trial of two young men accused of beheading their victim opened in court today. Province reporter Keith Fraser has more. A samurai sword was used to partially decapitate a Vancouver teen, a jury was told Thursday. The gruesome description came during the Crown's opening in a murder trial in BC Supreme Court. Amrit Paul Dillon, 20 years old at the time, has pleaded not guilty to the January 2013 second-degree murder of 19-year-old Amraj Akalirai. Amrit Paul Rakra, 18 years old at the time, has pleaded not guilty to manslaughter. Dillon is alleged to have used the sword to nearly cut off the head of Akalirai. The incident happened during a fight between two groups of young men in a residential neighborhood in East Vancouver. The victim was driving with a friend who could only be identified as Witness X due to a publication ban to get something to eat when their vehicle was suddenly blocked by two other vehicles occupied by five or six others, including the two accused. Witness X, who had brought the sword from his home, emerged from Akalirai's vehicle and confronted a male occupant from another vehicle who was also armed, said Prosecutor Corin Longworth in a small courtroom packed with family and friends of the accused and victim. He cut off the other male's thumb but had to drop the sword when he was hit on the hand. Witness X and Akalirai then fled the scene, running toward Witness X's home, but were pursued by the two accused. In the front yard of a home on Elgin Street, Rakra used a golf club to strike Akalirai, according to the Crown. When the victim fell to the ground, Dylan used the samurai sword and struck Akalirai in the back of the head, partially decapitating him and almost entirely severing that proportion of his head, said the prosecutor. Police arriving at the scene found the victim lying prone. He was pronounced dead after being transported to Vancouver General Hospital. No motive for the brutal attack was mentioned in court. Longworth told the jury that an issue they will likely have to deal with was whether the accused was acting in self-defense. The trial is expected to hear from a dozen Crown witnesses and run three weeks.